We go hands-on the Amazon Kindle Fire HD 8.9 and Nexus 4. Android 5.0 already seems to be benchmarked. And why is Windows Phone 8 resetting itself constantly? I'm Jaime Rivera, back after a crazy weekend, this time for good. And this is Pocket Now Daily. Now, Amazon's attempt for world domination in the tablet space continues even though they leave their flagship products for last minute and then launch them silently, such as the case of the Amazon Kindle Fire HD 8.9. I hate that long name, but it's now available in the store and our review unit has just arrived. So far, our impressions are quite good even though this is just the larger version of the Kindle Fire HD 7 with another long name that we already seen before. Make sure you watch Brandon's video in full details and expect our full review coming soon. Speaking of launches, after one of the most cumbersome experiences ever pre-ordering a device, our LG Nexus 4 is finally in the Pocket Now Labs, and well, Brandon took the time to give you a full walkthrough with the unboxing and first impressions. The device is great, a lot of the things that we expect that are there, but obviously, I think it's best if you catch this video in the links and then obviously wait for our full review, which is coming very soon. Speaking of Nexus devices, even though Android 4.2 has barely reached the Nexus 7 and some GSM Galaxy Nexus devices that don't include mine, aside from the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10 obviously, we've already been hearing rumors of Android 5.0 being tested on a Sony device that's a cousin to the Xperia T, though sadly there are no other details from this. We don't know how the benchmark came out, but hopefully Project Butter is now going to be called Project Milk or something like that. We'll see eventually. Now let's talk iPhone. Everybody complained in the past about Apple taking too long to refresh their iOS products once a year, and now everybody's complaining about the fact that the iPad 4 is barely 8 months older than the iPad 3. Who we'll understands some people, but now it seems that Apple is already working on the iPhone 5S to be tested this holiday season and be launched early next year. And I wonder how Apple plans to pull that off if they're barely able to beat the man's with the iPhone 5. And I wonder what comes with the iPhone 5S also. And finally, for the weird news of the day, even though Windows Phone has always been characterized as being a very reliable and smooth operating system, people are already complaining about Windows Phone 8 randomly resetting itself out of the blue, and Microsoft has still not figured it out, they haven't still detected why it happens, but that leads me to the question of the day. Are you having resetting issues with your Windows Phone 8 device, or are you simply on Android and iOS? My Nokia Lumia 920 is still not here, but leave us a comment down below. Now, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on parkingnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching.